Hey there, Ventex here, and welcome to the Beast Inside as that person just closes a door on us. I got this game gifted to me by one of my Patreon members, Golden Nebula, so shout out to her. And we are going to check it out, so let's start a new game after I just got finished testing some stuff. Yes, standard, let's go. Chapter 1, The Beginning. What a unique and interesting name to start the chapter on, but at least there's some cool artwork, I guess. Is that the house that we're going to? Press the any key. I think we'll go with the enter this time. Where? Where am I? Got some visage vibes going on. God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no, no, what have you done to Adam? Oh God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just, a, we're just a regular family. Do you hear me? We just wanted to live our life and you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am setting the front line. One week earlier. The sweep of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we Oh yeah. Like in the music. Uh. Get it. Okay. Uh, the further we go, the more doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. The laggy in the cutscene. The wild. Do be the doo weekend, up. honey. Not for the rest of our lives. Do be do up. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of do our lives? Do up. Really, Emma? We do don't do know up. the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents and you should Doobie appreciate doo it. Dooby-doo up. Dooby-doo look. up. Oh, it looks even better than Doobie the photos. Dooby-doo up. Oh, well, our stuff made it here before us. Ooh, Ooh look at that drift. Movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away when you give orders from the shower. Oh, slammed the door on me. She didn't like that. You know it's true. Three-hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Rude. Help Update. me out. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Help me out. We're a team, right? We're supposed to get this together. Oh, okay. I guess I can't open the trunk. Home sweet home. Chapter one. Take the box into the house. There's a uh, pizza box. Can I take that into the house? That's a box. Pizza Brothers. All right, the trunk is closed. Those are the boxes, but let's explore. You know what? I saw what's going to happen in a week. Let's get out of here. You're on your own, honey. Hopefully you can make it. From what I've seen, it's not going to end well. I don't have time for river rafting now. Oh, I don't? I thought I had plenty of time to river raft. Right. Shall I leave Emma and run away in the woods? Yes. Nah, don't think so. I need to go back. Come on, dude. Trust me on this. I know you don't want to stay here. Not a great idea, buddy. 
Look at this place. This place would entice me. I'd probably be like, nah, I'm staying. <laughs> what is this? Hey! What other secrets does this place hide? Like we got a secret gate there. But it looks like I can't go in it. I mean, there's like a, a padlock there. Oop. What else is around here? We got a secret gate. We got a ladder. Can't reach it though. Whoa. Nope. Uh, parkour! Parkour! Nope, no parkour. Can I parkour from here to here? Oh, I can jump. No! Ooh! Ouch! Honey, what are you doing with those boxes? Oh, you know, just breaking my leg. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll be alright. We got a gate? No point going there. So you say... Look at this though, this looks awesome. Look at those mountains right there. We get a better view of the view, a better view of the view. Let's check a look. Let's get up here. Wow, look at that. Look, there's a tree over there. Off to the very far, they're floating. You see those floating trees off to the distance over there? That's pretty cool. What else we got? We got a wooden bridge here. I know I can make that jump. Come on. Times are hard. Not so hard as to jump off the bridge. Oh, I can make it. I know I can. Anything else? Oh, a swing. Nice. Oh, it's broken. Uh, Emma wanted me to take the boxes inside. It looks very old. I wonder who played here. Definitely not a grown man, probably a small boy, but to be fair, I'm a grown man and I'd play there. I'd play there like crazy. I'd be like, it's time for dinner, it's like, hold on, ten more minutes! Did she get on to me because the dinner is getting cold? Another fence, okay. Okay, we got a little shack here. What's going on over here? Got some kerosene. I can pick this up. I can throw it. Ah! Oh! Yeah. You like that? Ooh, we got a ladder here. Little wheelbarrow. That's cool. A birdhouse. Uh, a shack, but it's locked. It's like it also has a padlock on. I don't know if that's gonna be a key or a bolt cutter. We already have a bolt cutter on the other side. All right, let's bring the boxes inside. I think we've seen everything there is to see around here. Other than the gazebo. Oh, voice recorder. Press tab to check the voice recorder. Adam uses the voice recorder to record conversation and his thoughts on the current events. Got to get those boxes inside. Uh, I the box on the table upstairs. Honey, I got some boxes. Where are you? Oh, she's in the shower. Put it on there. Let me take the cane first, I guess. Oh, it's a pole hook for the attic. Cool. Oh, not that one? Uh, here? No? There's a note. Where's the note? Right here. Invoice. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course they didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days. Okay. Where's my box at? Here it is. There's a table. There you go. Oh, this is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Let me get this chair out of the way. Open up the windows. Look at that. What a nice day. What a nice day for a wrench to go flying out the window. Yep. Get out of my way, chair. Uh, anything? Oh. 
Opening doors. Hold left mouse and push and pull. Uh, okay. I'm doing that, but my view's all going wonky. Nothing in here. What is this? Whoa! What do I gotta do? Uh, the box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Okay. Let's get up there. Whoa! Pull it down. Click and hold. I'm holding. Why is it being like that? All right, let's get up here. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Language. Okay. The baby hears everything. Yeah, the Adam. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. In the dining room. Okay. Adam, you're the one that dies. I think. I think that's. The person that stabs you in the face. Ooh, we got a clock here. Examine. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. That is nice. Do you agree with that? Letter from Mom. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. What's wrong with Boston these days? Adam, our dear son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even call it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when you, but when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa was just going to sell it as he, as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here. Raise your kids and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. Can't imagine a better place to settle down. Take care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows... At mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for our son or daughter. For your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he just is getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. Alright, these are all locked up. What are you doing up there? Is that the drain? For the hair dryer? Another toolbox. Is there any tools in here? Is there any point? No? Alright, she said it was in the, uh, this room, in the drawer. Uh, that's a spoon. The key could be in one of the drawers. It's not a nightmare, even if it looks like one. A Thinking Woman's Guide to Pregnancy. Amanda Kruger. Books on pregnancy. I should read this, too, so that I could be understanding of Emma and her quirks. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? It's not a nightmare. Get it? Nightmare? Kruger? Got it. Nightmare on Elm Street. All the pieces make sense. Yeah, you don't say that about your pregnant wife. I'm trying to figure out your quirks. <laughs> now that you're pregnant. In here? Nope. Nothing in here. Uh, okay. Anything in here? Oh, come here. Oh, nothing in there. Just one drawer. Right? There's like a thousand. I can't of them. find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. Typical. Come on. Why? Emma, come on. Seriously? Alright. Now I can open the trunk. Whoa! Wow, so we drove three hours down a bumpy road, and the key is just perfectly on top of this book. Nothing scattered around or anything. Yeah, I buy that. Get out of here, box! I'm tired of you! Can't even move it if I wanted to. Door for the attic. Let's go. Let's go. I got it, honey. Don't worry. You take your shower and you enjoy and relax and I'll take care of everything. Don't worry about it. Oh, look. Look at this guy. Sleeping angel. An angel looks like he's sleeping, but he might as well be dead. Poor guy. Life has been rough on him. How long has he laid here? Probably like... Probably for like a century. Rotate to find a hidden message. Okay. Where your where's your hidden message at, buddy? In your butt cheeks. 
Yep, it's in the butt cheeks. There it is. No, it's right there where the eyeball is. Someone must have hit him really hard to make his legs fall off. Wait, is that blood or paint? Good question. Uh, drop it. You want to go flying, buddy? Water is loud. Come here, open. You want to go flying? Oh, fail. Come on, I got it. This time, for real. Yeah! Off the roof. Yes, we did it. We did it. Uh, we got some pots and pans. What is this? A dancing couple figurine. Rotate to find a hidden message. Oh, you're on your butt. Okay. I wonder who they belong to. Grandma or someone else? Uh, that was the hidden message? Seriously? You don't know if it belongs to Grandma or someone else. Wow, okay. Crowbar? Heck yeah. What's in here? Ooh, an axe. Just an axe, that's it. Look at this. Parkour! Out the window axe! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, there's a door I can't get to, and here's a door I also can't get to. Here's a broom. Need a broom down there? No, you just gotta keep brushing your teeth and taking showers and stuff? Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a can. Ooh, a can of paint. Nice. Damn it. Yeah, right. You did that on What's purpose. That? You did that on purpose. How do you drop a can of paint like that? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop this it like way. Someone's hidden something under the floor. All right. Good thing we got a crowbar. <laughs> Get it open. What could it be? Yeah. Treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. Hey, grandpa, you dirty bird. Out the window. Come on, dude. Get out the window. Wah! Perfect. Alright, grandpa, what's in here? What you got in here, old man? Alright. An excerpt from Julius Caesar's commentaries on the Gallic War. I remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than the others. Yeah, like the M, the H, the P, the A, and the O. I wonder if that's going to be a clue. Rotate. J equals C. Julius Caesar's initials. But why does someone write that they were equal? <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker to... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? You have to be a code breaker to figure that out, seriously? Like, you couldn't figure that out if you're not a code breaker? Okay. Okay, buddy. What is it? M H P A O. M H P A O. Okay. This is. I mean. This device will help me decode the letters in the text. Oh, was I on the table that entire time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I mean, M H P A O. J equals C. So, can I, can I touch this? There you go. The so J equals C, right there. M is F, H is A, so F A, P e is I, uh, A is T, and O is H, so it's faith. Faith! I have to break the cipher to open the box. Are you sure it's not FAPTI? I think it's FAPTI. Could it get it if I was a code breaker? Could it understand it? We got an antique key. Hmm. Take it. And a journal. Probably Hello. Nicholas. Nicholas. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Press the any key. Last time we pressed enter, so this time let's press backspace. Oh, took a screenshot. It is September 27th, <laughs> in the year of our Lord, 
1864. Evening. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Okay. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I mean, I just read that, buddy. I'm home again after ten years' absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. Light I should the candles. Light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? Yes. He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. Oh, there's that same one that was in the attic. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears. That's fresher blood. Out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Ah, okay, so now we know what Maybe that is I from. realize what happened to my father. It says here I must have... And what happened to me. Okay, dude. Got it. I must have upset my... Diary. Press tab to read the diary. Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as important information. Gotcha, bud. Alright, so it says I must have upset my father because one day he tossed a figurine at me and hit me in the head. I can see it suffered more damage than I did, though. Well, blood's still on there. That's what that blood's from. Interesting. Putting the past connection here, or the future in connection with the past. However, matches. What else we got? We got was that some clothes? Why do you keep clothes in the dining room? Weird. That looks like a shirt right there. Those look like like towels, which is okay, I guess. But shirt. Come on, I lit it. What do we got here? Examine. This is one of my mom's favorites. She got it from a friend of the family. My father didn't like it. Thought it meant something in a bad way. Jealous much? Oh, there it is. Okay. It was a gift from my father's partner, George, as far as I remember. Fate played a cruel trick on him back when I was a kid. It still gives me the creeps. What else do we got? Some kerosene. Hello. Uh, some more matches. Let's go ahead and light this candle here. Upstairs. What could it be? No, I'm looting. Look, there's a lantern right there. You would have made me miss the lantern. I would have missed that lantern if I would have went upstairs. What else do we got? My father and his partner, a few days... Partner? <laughs> that sounded really Texas. My father and his partner, a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Jacob Hyde and George Whitehead, April 4th, 19, or 1840. Anything else? Some more matches. See some more matches in the other drawer, too. Let me get down here. Candles, right? Aren't those candles? Can't light those, though. More matches. Get out of my way. Matches, come on. No, I want the matches. Can't move. Get out of my way, chair. What's in my way now? The drawers? Seriously? Okay. That was weird. Ugh! I'm trying to save my kerosene lantern for a little bit. At least until I go upstairs and see what was making that noise. My father bought this land for practically nothing. His friend Judge Norton, why is Judge not capitalized, signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how they did it back then. Uh, let's rotate it. Hidden message. My father knew what was hidden underneath. He just needed someone with the resources to open a mine. That's when he met George. Then he built the inn, and for a time, he was actually rolling in it. Good old days, but I'm afraid it's not coming back. All 
right. What else do we got? Here's a box with nothing in it by the looks of it. Uh, we got some more drawers here. Any matches? There's a photo. Why would you put a photo frame in there? That's weird. More matches here. Anything in the desk? No. Get out of my way, chair. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Jeez, I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. More kerosene. Nothing in there. Those doors are locked. More kerosene here. We have a candle here. Let's light that up so we can see a little bit. Uh, some more drawers. Anything in here? There's some noise coming from upstairs. Oh, here we go. It might be him. What is this? What is that? It's a pipe. Examine. My father's stinking artifact. Uh, rotate it to find a hidden message. I tried to smoke it once. Unfortunately, my father found out and made me smoke a cigar. If I wanted to act like an adult, I vomited all n er. Fortunately, my father found out and made me smoke a cigar if I wanted to act like an adult. I vomited all night and never touched that pipe again. Alright, let's get out our lantern now. Okay, here's some more kerosene. I'm glad I did that because I didn't see that. I think we're good. Another sweep. I know it's upstairs, but this door is open too. Oh, never mind. I guess it's not open. Upstairs it is! Wait. There's drawers here. There could be something in there. There's clothes. Why would you put your clothes in the dining room? It makes no sense. Ooh, kerosene. Any matches? Nope. More clothes. Hello? Damn wind. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. Damn wind, of course. Of course it's the wind. Examine. I still don't know why my father started to collect them. Okay? I don't know either. Father was a weird dude, that's why. Oh, here's a box. What's in the box? Kerosene. What else do we have? Any matches? Matches. There's a candle. What's down here? Nothing by the looks of it. That door's locked. Locked. Got a letter here. Me and my father in front of his inn. I was seven at the time. Rotate it. Uh, oh, there we are. I was seven years old. That's me right there, I guess. He reproached me for making faces and not standing straight, although he was the one who couldn't stand still, as you can tell. He gave me a good thrashing, even though I didn't deserve it. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, that's closed. Ah, uh, Matches. Very good. Nothing else in there by the looks of it. That door's locked. This is the only other place that's locked. Alright, locked. Close the window. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Oh, the windows is closed all of a sudden. Get it closed then. This is private property. Get off my property, sir! Where the hell did he go? Hey! You still here? Where are you? Looks like he went this way. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Okay. See what we can find in here. Probably nothing. Whoa! Look how strong I am! The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? That is strange. Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Oh. Like a uh, bolt cutter? Would that work? Alright. 
Oh, yeah! Hello? Housekeeping. A newspaper clipping. Rotate it to find a hidden message. Alright, we'll let it do its thing and then we'll read it. I guess we can read it right there. This terrible crime shocked the peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the end confirmed the man's death. John Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. Alright. Lucian murder? She John Norton. Sounds familiar. There's some matches. No, I want the matches. I wonder what this could be. That's my father's hat. How can you tell? It's just a hat. The basement? Did you believe this is some kind of clue for me? Oh, I saw I you. Look into it. So only your father can have this hat. No one else in the world can have that hat. It couldn't be anyone else's. Okay. Okay, buddy. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. I better go home. Yeah, that vagabond. Forget him. Is there another house there? That's cool. That wasn't there before. Oh, I can't go inside. Better go home. Okay. I'll listen to you this time. Hey, what are you doing here? What? You let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. Why don't I just leave? No, that's an option, right? You could just leave. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Oh, okay. Hello? Examine. My father never could express emotions, but when he felt unhappy, he used to clutch this little angel in his hand. That's weird. Brings me back to my father being a weird dude. No one does that, father. No one clutches little... <laughs> dude, chill out. Must have been the wind. Probably just some rusty pipes, that's all. Alright. Anything in the cabinets? No. Nothing. Uh, nothing in here. Got a candle. Let's light it. Let's grab the matches. Anything in here? No. Kerosene's getting low. Right, let's move this chair out of the way. Come here. Where did all this blood come from? Hmm. Let's investigate Dear instead of God. calling the cops or anything like a logical human being would do. I think it's time for us to investigate. Let's get this stuff out of the way, just in case we need to make a getaway. Put you right here. Ladder. We're going to put you over here as well. That's fine. Move you a little bit more. There we go. Uh, you. Fine right there. Alright, now we can get outside if we need to. For whatever reason. That door's locked. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more kerosene into our lantern. Be good for now. And let's go into the basement. Hello? Hello? I'm coming. I'm going, dude. What? Now you're going to leave. Okay. Let's see if this is a good idea. You're gonna see if this is a good idea. What could go wrong? Just a basement with a blood trail leading to it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Better run away. He had to run. I came down there fast. My father's in's first advertisement. He said to me, We did it, boy. Boy. Alright, anything else useful? Kerosene, that's useful. He matches the big old crate. Here's some matches. 
There's some matches. Ask and you shall receive. Why can't I take this with me? More kerosene. Uh, more matches. Thank you. Go ahead and light that up. More matches. Yes. Thank you very much. More kerosene. Oh yeah, we're getting all the loot. Locked. Nothing there. Oh, a little crawl space. That looks safe. Or blood trails. Looks like a face. What's that? Ooh, kerosene. Maybe there's another way in. Maybe there is. Like, uh, this thing's glowing right here <laughs> in an odd way. Oh, I gotta click it. Oh, yeah! You don't wanna mess with me, buddy. What's gonna happen to you next? Oh, there's a, uh, some shears. I'm gonna use that as a weapon. Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. I have okay. to get in there. Whatever happened. I hope it's not my fault. Oh my goodness. Am I delusional? I have to be. He went through me. I'm gonna get to my briefcase. Went inside of me. What the hell is that? Looks like roots okay i need to get rid of them before i leave the basement all right come on shears yeah one root dead look at that that's gross looking doesn't even look like real blood and two get me out of here he's upstairs what does he want from me what do you want from me Has someone gone through my briefcase? Apparently so. We got a key though. Uh oh, cutscene. Who the hell are you? Stay back. You hear me? Keep away! I had shears, right? Why not just stab him? Or call the police, or run away. Any of those are great options. Chapter 3. My parents' old house where Emma and I decided to move hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passages describe real-life events or if they are just mad ravings made up by this... Person. Press the enter key. We did enter in space or backspace. Let's do space this time. Nice. Damn it! Someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Why? Glad we're moving in, and I have time to just sit and read. I was in the attic, and I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Chapter three: A Bloody Welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you want to see more, I am going to be pumping out that content. I'm having fun with this game. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord. Link is down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.